Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this quick tip video, we're going to take a look at how we can synchronize an animation like this with an audio file. For the geometry nodes setup in this video, I am using Blender 2.93. However, the plugin we need to do the animation synchronization is already available in the production release of Blender. Here I've set up a geometry node tree that makes this spiky ball. If I alter the 2 max setting of the attribute map node range, I get this cool pulsing effect. So what I wanted to do was have that synchronized to some music. Luckily for us, there's a plugin that ships with Blender. It's not turned on by default, and so let's look real quickly how we can turn it on. Going to the Edit Preferences menu, go to Add-ons, change the add-on type to Testing, and type in the word Sound. You should see the Import Export import sound to animation plugin. Go ahead and make sure that's checked. You can then exit the preference menu. Clicking our end panel, we'll see now that we have an animate tab. Before we follow these instructions, there's a few things that we want to set up. First, go ahead and create a new object to have the new animation assigned to. In this case, I'll just create a cube. Next, under frames per second, set this to match the frame rate of your project. So in this case, 24 frames per second. The final setting that you're going to want to set is the actions per second. By default, this is set at 4. That means that there will be 4 keyframes per second. The more keyframes per second you add, the smoother the animation will be. Let's go ahead and set this to 8. Once we have those set, we'll hit Process Wave. I'll choose the wave file, and it will import. Be aware that you're going to want to use a WAV file and that MP3 files will not work with this. Once that's imported, click the Import Keyframes option. This will then work through the keyframes, assigning them to your object. Let's change our bottom area to a graph editor. We can see here that we now have keyframes. If we play this now, our cube will move according to the music. Although we don't hear the music. One way to get the music to play while we see our animation is to change our window type to Video Sequencer. We'll then say Add Sound. Browsing to our file, we'll import our WAV file. Returning to the graph editor, now when we play the animation, we should hear the audio. The question then becomes, how do we transfer this F-curve to our geometry node tree? It's actually pretty simple. With this F-curve selected, right-click on it and choose Copy. I'm going to split this bottom window and make half of it a geometry node editor. Sliding over to my object, I'll select it. I'm going to hover over the value that I want to keyframe. It's this one right here. Hovering over it, I'm going to press the I key. This will insert a single keyframe. It really doesn't matter what the value currently is because we're going to overwrite it. With the node selected that contains your keyed value, you'll then see that keyed value show up in your graph editor. With that channel selected, go to the beginning of your animation, right click, and choose Paste. At this point, you can edit this F curve in any way you'd like. Now because any of these values here are keyframable, you could really apply this sort of thing to any of your settings in your geometry node tree. So your options here are really quite limitless. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. I hope you learned something, and I hope this inspires you to make something awesome. If you're finding my videos helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you do end up making something awesome and posting it on social media, tag me in it at Johnny Gizmo so that I can check it out. Also, check out our new Discord. Links in the description. I'll see you next time.